This is James Elder for Eiffel TV in association with Matt Gym Bay. I'm on the road with me. I've got boxer, pundit, fashion guru, life coach, none other than Peter McDonough. What's happening, Pete? Hey, doing, James? You all right, mate? All right, all right. Looking a bit trim, Pete. Look trimmer than last time I saw you, mate. Yeah, weight's coming down. Training hard. Uh, no, just waiting, waiting for the date on my next fight. Looks like Dean Byrne in Belf uh, in, Belf in Dublin. So just looking forward to that. I see on I see on Twitter a little uh, little kind of build up of the fight between yourself and Dean Byrne, both wanting this fight to take place. So does that does that give it more interest from your point of view? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I know he's going to come and he's going to be at the best he can be at. You know, with obviously coming from Dublin. Um, but I'm going to go into his backyard. Obviously, I'm from Galway, but I'm going to go into his backyard in Dublin, and smash him to pieces. I mean, we saw Carson Jones in action quite recently against Brian Rose. Um, good, good contest and good win for Brian. Obviously, Carson Jones put, had a good contest with Dean Burns, so shows the calibre of the level of fight Dean Burns mixed in with. Does that does that worry you at all, Pete? Uh, no, not at all. Look, Jesus, I've, I've been in with everyone, James. You know. Um, there's nothing that I nothing that I ain't seen before. Um, one second. Is it? All right, Marnie. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I've been in with top top class calibre. Um. But I know Dean Byrne obviously getting trained by Freddie Roach and he's seen everything. So there's nothing he ain't gonna have not seen when he fights me. But um. I just believe that it's my time and. With the backing of my team, obviously MGM, and you know I'm getting looked after now. I ain't been beaten in two years. Bradley Skeet was the last person to beat me. Um, I'm just looking forward now to getting back in there, getting another belt under me, and like around my waist, and then move on. The last two fights I've won belts, so just keep winning the belts. What do you think Dean Burns going to bring to the fight? He's going to come to have a fight, isn't he? But I mean, listen, everyone knows I've got one gear. It's forward and. One thing that everyone's going to get, and the crowd's going to win in this because it's just going to be an absolute ding dong, you know. But I ain't going to take one step backwards. Do you worry about that? Dean Burns obviously is Irish, you're of Irish ancestry, but you obviously speak like you're from Bermondsey. We yeah. don't go into that too much. But does it worry yeah. you going over to Ireland to fight to fight Dean? No, not at all. You know, I've been I've been in the uh, backyard of of many of fighters, you know, and I've turned over many of fighters in their own backyard, but. Uh, no, I know a lot of the crowd that will be there for me as well, obviously through MGM, obviously where they all come from Dublin. Um, so, yeah, no, don't bother, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if, they, if there's 2,000, 3,000 people cheering for Dean Byrne, because it's only me and him in the ring at the end of the night, and, you know, as long as I can silence them people, I don't care. I mean, you work with Danny Bourne a lot. Um, we've seen Bradley Saunders joining Danny Bourne and the team now, if you're working with him. What, what do you think that will add to Bradley Saunders' game? Yeah, I think Danny Vaughan will get the best out of Bradley Saunders. Danny Vaughan very, very good at getting the best out of what he's got and it's proven with me, proven with Jamie Conlon. You know, Tom Stalker's boxed well, you know, uh, his last fight was unlucky to look like to get a draw. Um, I mean, prime example is Derry Matthews, you know. Two veterans of me and Derry Matthews and we're both flying at the moment. How far do you think Derry Matthews is from getting getting a world title shot, obviously? <laughs> Terry Flanagan's got a, got a belt. Uh, looks like Perez and Connor's tied up with that one. What? How far do you think Derry is away from getting his shot? Well, I, I think I think you know you, you never know when it's going to come. It can come. It can come. Man, money. One second. Sorry, darling. Um, it can come any second. Now you know. I mean, I thought I thought it could be him and Flanagan next. So I don't know what's happened there or what's going on there. But um, yeah, Derry's only a couple of shots away from you know a world title. One shot, two shots away from world title fight. What did you make of Floyd Mayweather's comments? I know you ain't been on the Twitter for about a week, Pete. You've had a little Twitter break, but yeah. everyone's kind of talking about Mayweather saying he's the greatest of all time ahead of legendary fighters. So, what what are your thoughts on that, Pete? Do you think he is is, is in the top top of the top five, so to speak? Yeah, most definitely. Look at his defence. Look at the man's face. Look at the way he talks. You know, he's still got all his wits about him. You know, sometimes he might be a bit brash on what he does, but you know, the man's still got all his faculties about him and. You know, he's got his brains, he's a clever man, he's got great footwork, great defence. You know, he's, he's, he, I think he is probably the best of all time, I do. So you, you would rate him over Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, these type of people, Pete? Yeah, because he never gets involved, he never seems to get involved in a fight, does he? You know, he, 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 he makes boxing, it is an art, he shows it, it's an art. It's like a chess game with, with Mayweather, you know? And uh, 
I mean, people are, people are ripping him, like slagging him off for fighting uh, Berto. But look at his last 10, 15 fights. They've all been hard fights, all been tough fights. He's fought anyone in front of him. Listen, don't be fooled by what's going, on, what the public are doing, or what's going on at the moment. Listen, Mayweather ain't retiring. There's no way in a million years Mayweather's going to retire. He'll fight Khan. You know, he'll definitely end up fighting Khan. Um, but I'll tell you what the next fight will be. It'll be the Manny Pacquiao rematch. What, so you think he's going to get to 49, he's going to win, he's going to then, that'll be a so-called last fight and then he'll fight, he'll come out of retirement to fight again, Pete? Yeah, well listen, every fighter goes into retirement, comes out of retirement, gets a lot more money, doesn't they? You know, so I think I think, I think think it'll be Manny Pacquiao rematch next one and then maybe after that I think he might fight Khan. Daddy. Right, alright, well you heard it here first. So you're going to go and do a little bit of training now, Pete, is that the plan? Yeah, I'm just going to go up to Cheswick and do a bit of training. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting this little Charles Frankham. I mean, he follows me on Twitter and, and all that, and he, he's supposed to be a class little fighter, so I'd like to uh, meet him, and I've got a little gift for him as well, so... When we get there... I dread to think what it is. Yeah, uh, when we get there, we give him his little gift, and um, yeah, it'd be nice, nice to meet him, and I think little Charlie Edwards is here as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, right. and he's been out to the MGM a couple of times, so... You know, it'd be nice to meet them both, see them both. He's got he, Charlie, Charlie Edwards in a big fight with Louis Norman for the English title coming up. Very tough fight, very tough fight. I right. mean, listen, this is going to be a fight that's going to make him into a champion if he comes for it, but listen, uh, it's, it's a very, very daring bit of matchmaking, I think. You know, it's a tough fight. He's still a novice, but if they think he's at that level, let's see. Flyweights are aggy little dudes, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always, yeah. always on the brink of losing control. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, but... um. Yeah, he's, he's a good little fighter, he's got loads of talent, but I mean, he knows the game inside out. Old, what's his name, doesn't he? Uh, Louis Norman, he's been around now a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he's very he's good. And he boxed well last time out, I thought. He did, yeah, against Brett Fiddle. Yeah, on yeah. the NSC Sports Show. Yeah, yeah, he boxed very well. So it was good. It was good. Uh, it was a good win for him. And uh, yeah, so off to the gym now, do a little bit, and then back out to MGM soon for training camp. Full training camp will start soon then. Hopefully, they, we're looking on some kind of announcement for. Yourself versus Dean Byrne, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, me versus Dean Byrne uh, announcement hopefully in the next week or so, you know. All right. Big news, stay tuned. Stay tuned, you heard it here first. Nice one, Pete, thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.